Hey friends, uh, now we will, previously we have a brief discussion about how to analyze the insulation resistance uh, when you are doing the periodic maintenance. So what's basically is uh, periodic, uh, this maintenance testing is all about keeping the proper record and uh, another thing is you need to uh, make sure that all the readings are uh, provided at a given temperature. For example, you can calculate all the readings at 20 degrees centigrade. In this way, you can compare all the all the results. And the third thing is you have to make sure that when you are doing this mega testing, uh, you have to do it uh, below dew point. Uh, they should you should avoid the extreme humid conditions that will not give you the proper reading. Third thing that we discuss until now is that the applied voltages uh, for maintenance testings are way less um, uh, um, uh, in fact they are less than the rated uh, AC values because the uh, uh, IR is in DC as compared to installation testing which is 2 to times plus 1 kV and uh, here you can see um, this is an example where um, one equipment is tested and they have kept the record you can see they have tested the equipment first time in 1995 they have kept the reading and then they can they have tested this uh, uh, record gradually uh, you can see there is a pattern insulation is going down gradually so uh, this uh, gradual uh, uh, resistance which is going down is okay and this is perfect there is nothing to worry about it but then when, when they tested this insulation here so uh, the value is suddenly decrease uh, during this year and then when they take the maintenance so it's showing that insulation is failed so uh, but it's still it's possible that or it will be failed so the value is, uh, is goes down normally the supplier is providing the acceptable ranges of insulation for example if the insulation acceptable insulation range is one giga ohm here here is a one giga ohm it is still just more than the expectable range for example in this case but we can we don't we know that this equipment can fill any time so what they have done they have rewind it put the new insulation and they test it again and then again they start in operation and they start measuring the value and value is gradually decreasing which is a perfect sign but for example if you are seeing results uh, where the value is coming more than the previous year which is not normally possible and it's sometimes coming down and up or down and up so this is not a normal sign either you are doing some mistake in your connections or your equipment is not calibrated you need to uh, now find out the reason uh, the normal curves it should be look like this and this is a very good example that how you have to you know, normally we in the factory industries we are not uh, people are not uh, uh, keeping the record and they are not uh, uh, doing this uh, periodic maintenance seriously and that's the reason that uh, they are not forecasting the failure so this is a very good example and I will appreciate that you should Follow this practice uh, during maintenance testing. Thank you very much.